Poison here for NextGenWalkthroughs.com Army 2 Professional Difficulty Walkthrough Miami level. So first thing you want to do is make sure both of you can see out of this door. We're not going to walk out there yet. First we're going to co-op snipe the two guys on the porch. And after you do that just make sure you get them at the same time. Um, nobody else is going to run out. I think if you do that right. I'm not sure if they do either way. Honestly. Um, so you take them out and you're gonna head up to where they were. One person's gonna head to the right, one head to the left. And take cover on these things immediately. Get there as fast as you can. Because there's a lot of people in here. Um, just stay down and basically blind fire at everybody you can see. Because if you like pop up to aim, you're gonna get shut down really fast. Now here basically I'm just trying to get as much aggro as possible to get overkill and I'm gonna stay behind this taller part of the stand thing. I was hiding behind and as it's gonna run up as far forward as he can take these guys out. And I'm just gonna stay back exactly where I was and take these guys out while acids behind them and again I'm gonna try to keep as much aggro as possible to make sure you know they don't start focusing on him because I can't really help him where he is and I have pretty much more cover where I am so I'm gonna keep blind firing try to keep the aggro up on me don't let these guys get behind me here I gotta switch sides because um, they were all over here uh, be really careful when you do that, make sure you're not getting shot at when you start to run and just get over there as fast as you can, slide into cover. And I'm just going to keep blind firing these guys. And these little display things make actually pretty good cover because they have the three sides on it, so um, it uh, does a pretty good job of giving you cover from the sides too. So after that is clear, I'm going to grab some ammo. And we're going to head upstairs. And that is the uh, really difficult part of um, this mission. There you see I was trying to use the uh, elevator. But there's another guy upstairs here, so make sure you don't get caught out by this guy. I was trying to melee him, but it didn't work out. Um, we're going to have to go restore power to the elevator. And I believe that's up this way. Yep. There's a riot shield up here you can use, which actually can be pretty helpful. Just make sure. Because, again, this, this is just like the first floor. There's a lot of people kind of all at once. And for whatever reason, it wouldn't let him get in behind me. There we go. So we're just going to kind of strafe that way with the shield and um, try to keep it pointed towards as many of them as possible, obviously. And over here, you don't really need it as much because in uh, this area there's, these, there's the vending machines and stuff lying on the side, so we actually have a pretty good amount of cover on this side, but we're going to keep the shield as long as we can for the mobile cover. And there you see it broke, so we're gonna have to go find some other cover. Just when you're using those, make sure you're watching the health bar on it because when there's this many people they can actually break the uh riot shield. So just use as much of this cover back here as you can. Um they will kind of try to run up on you, so you can wait for them to do that if you want. Or move up slowly, like cover to cover. And there's a heavy armored guy down there. And the unfortunate part about this is um, he's going to be pretty hard to get without overkill. Because he's kind of got his back to the wall. So we basically have to just draw him forward. 
until um, one of us can get the red reticle on his back. See, he's he's kind of concentrating on me, so Acid's gonna get behind him, kind of keeping his attention. Now I'm trying to run behind him, but I don't know how I didn't get hit there the whole time. But now Acid's behind him, he can just drop him, nice and easy. And I believe this is gonna be the longest video I've done so far for this guide. Mainly just trying to take advantage of um, the new 15 minute time limit for uh, YouTube. So now, once you open this door, there's one guy like right there. It's kind of weird that you can't see him when you kick the door open, but that guy's right there. He's going to run at you and start shooting immediately, so be ready for that guy, or else he will get you. But the good news is uh, you do have a checkpoint by that point. Before then, uh, I think the next, the checkpoint is like when we co-op sniped the two guards, I think it's the last checkpoint. So that's why this part's so hard, because there's so many guys, and on this difficulty it's really easy to get killed. Or downed at least, but since we're kind of making this a lot harder on ourselves than we had to, but uh, I think it looks kind of bad if you get downed on a walkthrough and then you're showing somebody the wrong way to do it, really. Um, here I'm trying to snipe the guys across the um, on the other balcony kind of thing. But they're blind firing a lot, so that's going to be kind of hard. And at the, in the meantime, Acid is uh, moving in. Kind of taking him out, and I'm going to run up and try to help him. But he had that guy pretty well. Now we got some overkill. Looking right up, you see there's still a bunch of guys along this wall. I think these are the guys I was sniping at. <clears throat> so once that's clear, you can head up the stairs or down the stairs. You can see there's more people down there now, so it's a lot of times easier to try to take them out while you have the high ground. So, yeah, if you can avoid going down there with them, uh, if it's not at all possible. Like, if you're out of primary and sniper or whatever, then you might have to get down there with the uh, P90 or whatever sidearm you choose. If, for whatever reason, you don't have the P90. It is far and away the best sidearm. I don't know why you wouldn't get it. Uh, got overkill again, so I'm gonna run down here and uh, try to drop these last couple guys, because um, this is a pretty big area. So if there's only like one or two people left, you can kind of lose them in here. But uh, you gotta go down to this desk and put in the uh, passcode or whatever to turn on the elevator. and then we're going to have to jump on top of it. And of course, more pe I think more people show up after you put the code in. So, make sure you get to cover. I think they come from behind the way I was facing with the desk, so watch out for that. So you're going to want to head back upstairs. Presumably after you clear it. So you're going all the way back up. Because we're going to have to get on the elevator. But there's going to be people up here. And I think it's on here. I'm, I'm not sure if we show it. But I believe there is an intel 
up here. Like if you stay on this floor and go all the way around to the other side, I believe there's an intel in the very far corner. So yes, yeah, it was down the first floor cleaning up a little bit longer than I was, so I'm gonna I headed up here and I'm gonna start clearing these guys out. Uh, you know, same kind of cover as the last time we were I think on the second floor, just with some like vending machines and stuff. And now we got some more of these angled displays. So you can use those. Might not be here. So we, could, we couldn't remember how to get up, up there, I think. Yeah, you have to uh, take cover and then climb over, I believe. But you just ride that up, and I'll see you in the next video.